blah, 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 blah. Okay, so feels like it's been many days or a week even, but really I just took yesterday off. Uh, so basically it's just been two days. So back at it yet again because we got uh, we got work to do. So you know had some uh, had my breakfast. Uh, I definitely have noticed that I was eating too many pizza slices. You know, I was cooking a little too much for myself, so I was gaining a hell of a lot of weight. So I finally got the conf confirmation today, this morning, when I weighed myself. Because yesterday, uh, I did not eat any pizza, right? Just as an experiment, right? But I ate everything else, and of course, I made sure the portions were a lot smaller this time. Because now I'm eating three meals a day, but maybe a small snack with cookies, right? But I'm deliberately making sure that everything's very, very small portions. We're talking only like a few hundred calories, uh, approximately. And that's in addition to my extra. Oh, I didn't do exercises today. That's what I forgot. Dang. I know I forgot something. Obviously, I'm not going to exercise here. But, but uh, you know, I got to... I guess I can put it on the back so it'll always remind me that, hey, you got to do some exercises. Ugh, this is uh, kind of annoying. Cause now I... Oh, God, this is very uncomfortable. Okay, maybe I can put it over here. Because I don't want this on the floor. Oh, okay, yeah, this will work. Yeah, this is much better. Because <sighs> now I'm doing push-ups every day also. To make sure I work those chest muscles, but man, uh, how, how, how frustrating. So, yeah, so I had a good morning, you know, I did all my stuff, did my walk, and went to the bank real quick, make sure nothing uh, was screwed up, and so far it's working out pretty well, so not too bad, not too bad. I should probably also do a video on RingFi too, because right now we're doing Vinyl Finance, then we got Argo Finance, which is on Metis, and then we got My Rabbit Farm. All right, I still have to check with what the fork X Y Z to make sure that it's not uh, you know a rug pull scam. Uh, of course, we'll do ring fi. So yeah. Oh, actually, it shows you right here. Uh, Renault my rabbit dot farm. Oh okay. Oh yeah. So I should probably actually. Uh, I don't know. I think I can do all three tune forks today, and then I don't know. We'll see how I feel uh, by the time I do a fourth video. Because that way I could maybe take tomorrow off as well. Or do like one video because I know... Well, actually, no. Because tomorrow I think I might be visiting family. So, all right. So, anyway. Uh, so, I'm not invested in this project. Uh, however, we need content. I need content. And, of course, some of you may actually want to be playing these uh, projects anyway. So, you know, good, good, good for you. So, from what I can tell, well, first, it's not on Yield Wolf, right? Because now I just checked the Discord. I haven't even checked the whatever, right? The, the website. So, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am because I don't see this on Yield Wolf uh, for my end. Uh, but so far, it appears to still re remain legitimate, right? It's already been KYC'd and renounced, right? This was before or right at the launch. So, it should be pretty safe. They got like some NFT stuff, I guess. So, I don't know, maybe you're into that. From what I can tell, uh, it's obviously under peg because this clown show says one to one to phantom. So nowadays, smart APR system is what basically lets you survive. Because right now, nobody wants to really do tune forks except you know degenerates like I guess. I mean, not even me, but I guess degenerates like you that want to really you know want to play these. And it's not such a bad play. Just make sure you gotta take profits constantly, right? Because you know you can expect you know, further price pressure. Though I think at this uh, this particular project, it's pretty far below peg already, and the share price, which is tracks here, uh, it still seems pretty reasonable. So you're still getting very solid APRs, all right? Because vinyl FTM is paying 10.33 percent uh, per day. Uh, the share LP is paying 16.75 percent. So let's see, 16,003. I mean, I guess I could just check the documents, right? Did we double that? Yeah, so this is using the smart APR system uh, it, for sure, uh, for sure. But we could, we could definitely try to confirm that they wrote it down here. Uh, tokens, okay. This is vested over 12 months. The team and DAO allocations over 300 days. Fine. Expansion. Uh, they're still doing the standard four and a half. To, this is just too much. Four. This is way too much. You want to start. You want to do what uh, paper 
printer financial does, right? 2.5 or 2.0, and then drastically goes down. Right? That's why paper is the, the base peg token for printer financial is doing so well. So I can't believe people still haven't figured this out yet, man. It's, it's very annoying. But at least people have kind of figured out the smart APR system. Okay. So obviously they did not write, or maybe I glazed it over, but I don't see it here. There we go. Vinyl reward pool. Okay. Okay. Well, it doesn't tell me what the tracks are. So total vinyl will be 22,000. Okay. All right. I... Oh, no, this is the base peg token. Okay. Well, I guess we don't know, but uh, let me check. Let me t check one more time. All right. So, all right. So there's not there's nothing here. All right. But anyway, it's basically smart APR system because now it's at 11%. So it's just gone up. Very nice. So now I can just write 11% on the YouTube description. So there's TVL 32,000. This is 17,000. It's paying 17. So basically, if I double this, this will be halved. So 17.28 will go down to like 8 point something. So, so technically, it's a smart APR system, but not by much. So let's see what they did with the boardroom. Uh, now I have to figure this out. Okay. There's 263 shares staked. So the APR is... 11,126. I, I don't even know how that even even gets calculated. Okay, 6.3, 6,300, 4,000. Okay, this is this is barely using a smart APR system. Ugh. And we already know from the documentation it's printing 4.5%. So yeah, this thing, yeah, I'm not surprised that this thing is so far below peg. So technically it uses a smart APR system in the farming pool, but their boardroom is printing too much, unfortunately. So just bear that in mind. But, you know, this could be a pretty fairly good, you know, degenerate play. You know, you can make a lot of good daily APR, and it's, of course, paying, you know, I mean, yeah, it's paying a lot per day, and, of course, the TVL is 110000 Like, I personally am just so sick and tired of, like, having all these windows open, and really just tomb forks in general. Like I still want a good, I still want a tomb for it, but I want something good and stable, you know. Uh, but that's basically asking like Santa Claus for Christmas gifts this year, right? You know, it's just never gonna happen, right? Uh, unless a fake Santa comes along, which of course means Santa does not exist. All right. So uh, with that being said, it's a pretty new project, right? So, but you know, they said KYC'd and already renounced. So I figure, you know, this should be relatively safe. But as always, right, treat every project you go into uh, as a rug pull scam and then work backwards from there, right? So obviously don't pull all your eggs in one basket. Uh, you know, unless it's clearly obvious that the project really is legitimate and they've been around a long time, at least a month or two, all right? And they have all these KYCs, AMAs, and all this other shit that, you know, goes along with being a legit project. So... Uh, with that being said, uh, I mean, I guess it'll probably still be more price pressure. Like, if I really had to play this, yeah, I mean, yeah, I probably would go in, right? Of course, I'm going to do the, I would do the base pair, as always, right? Because I don't want to deal with the share stuff anymore, right? Because when, when, cause when you're far below pay, everyone dumps the shares, and then the devs have to concentrate on the base pay token. So, you know, I don't want to keep shifting money around. It's just annoying. Especially on AVAX, right? Because Kerbata game is still hogging up all the freaking gas on AVAX. It's like, I, I guess there's, I know their Swimmer Network was a success, but I don't think it's live right now. I think they, they took it back down. I guess I assume they do some coding. So they said it's going to like go live at the end of March, and then they're going to force everybody to go on the Swimmer Network so they can get off of freaking AVAX. So that's great for all of us. It's just like in our two weeks of freaking crazy gas fees. I actually wound up spending like seven, eight dollars last night on gas fees. I was really irritated with that. Because normally I would only pay like two bucks. So you know, watching like watching like basically ten percent of it, my AVAX just disappear to stupid gas fees, especially because Playmates screwed up the contract interaction. So I wound up losing five percent of an AVAX essentially because I was trying to 
lower the gas way and it screwed and failed. So I was just, I was just so mauled. I wasn't mauled, but I was very irritated. So oh, that's how it goes. But luckily it should be a temporary problem. So anyway, if I were to go in this, you know, yeah, I mean, it would probably be an okay entry, right? But again, you know how it is. You know, I know this is not using the smart APR system 2.0. It barely uses it for the farms. Uh, so, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, we could just see that the shares at least just went up. So, for some reason, because this thing's obviously not printing. Oh, that's the other thing, too. I didn't take into account. This thing will not be printing. So, I think this APR is also somewhat distorted. But, I mean, we already know it's printing 4.5% of this. That's just too much, man. That's just too much. Okay, look at the bonds, 2,368. So, all right, like, they really should just, like, bonds are really bad. They should just create the single staking pool and then shift all the, just shift all the reward to the single staking pool. And that's all you got to do, right? And eventually it'll go up. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of a balancing trick, too, because you take too much from the shares and no one really wants the shares. So, actually, maybe you would do, I don't know, like, once you're below peg, it's kind of a problem. That's why, like, I want to see a tomb fork like Printer Financial now. No peg, so it always just prints no matter what, and very low inflation. And it uses a smart APR system. And then you can have a very good to a tomb fork that'll just last forever. Because look, you're under peg, so the shares are now worthless, essentially. So why have the shares? Which then, of course, dumps, which then lowers the APR of the base peg token, and you get your death spiral loop, right? Just have no peg. Just say, oh yeah, just do a uh, vinyl FTM and then no peg, and then just go on. So, so even if you, had, if you had a no peg system, this thing would still be printing these stupid vinyls, right? And then these tracks would actually be worth. At least it'll maintain its value, right? That's the most important thing. And then it could eventually go back up, all right? And as tracks go back up, vinyl would go back up. So, ah, uh, but oh well, whatever. So anyway, I guess this wound up being a much shorter video because, yeah, there's not really much to say. Uh, and again, I've just been trying to just relax. Oh, my God, look at that. Look how, look how distorted this is. I'm going to have to switch this to a one-hour chart, I think. Yeah, this is a lot easier to read for me. Oh, oh. Yikes. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. I and mean, obviously, this project is just too new, so. Anyway, you can check this out. You can earn, uh, what is it, 11... Well, 11 and a half percent now. Yeah, because the shares are showing. So, yeah, I'll just write 11 to 17 percent APR. I mean, because I can't. I don't want to write the decimals. That's just going to be annoying. So check out uh, Vinyl Finance. It's a surprisingly short video, but again, not much to say. I mean, at this point, everyone knows what they all look like. I'm not going to invest in this. I do not plan to, right? Because in fact, I'm actually going to be shifting some of my spare Phantom Tomb Fork income. Now into buying of Libro tokens, because again, Titano is going to pop off. It's going to be a matter, a short matter of time before it reaches one penny, right? Or maybe, or maybe it'll hit like 40 to 60 cents, and then I'll have to consolidate for a little while longer, right? Because that's a pretty big jump. So, but Libro actually has a much harsher tax system. I don't know why it still says 13, 18 percent, because I've had to, I had to do 18 percent of buys for freaking Libro. It's like it, it's insane. I mean, I could confer if I'm still paying 13% by looking at the blockchain, but it's just like, huh. But thankfully, it's high slippage because everyone's just buying up Libro, so it's still cheap now. It's at 1.2 cents now. It's it's popping off, too. So, my money can stretch. I mean, basically, Titano is 19, 20 times more expensive than Libro. But Libro is better because they're already going cross-chain-ish. Well, they have cross-chain investments, and they're investing their treasury. So, you know, so in the meantime, Caesar and Sphere Finance have to go through their corrective phases, which is what's happening to both projects right now. Uh, but, you know, you know, like Sim's doing a bang-up job with Sphere Finance, so his, tre his treasury is going ape shit, right? It's, it's buying up everything, so perfect. So, you know. And, yeah, I, I figured I kind of looked at the – previous price charts, right? It's because Caesar and Sphere technically launched, assuming white uh whitelist or you know stealth launch for Caesar day one was so low that it's gonna take a while for that uh, that profit taking to even itself out. 
They got paper hands dumping because they're retarded, right? And then and then it'll just become the next Titano, right? So, yeah, but yeah, and I, and, I mean, I really want to keep taking profit every day off of Caesar, but it's actually mess. It might it slightly makes me lose more tokens because obviously not compounding, right? So now I might. So now I'm gonna try switching to every seven days, because that's what I'm gonna do with Sphere, right? Because I have to pull some money out. Because I have to make sure I at least earn three grand a month for bills. But on the other hand, I kind of want to keep upping my playmates back too. I want to try to get to 49 mansions. Because once I have 49 mansions, that's like, you know, let's say it's just playmates is 10 bucks at that point. All right? It's still under a lot of price pressure right now, but I'm sure it'll fix itself. So 49 times 10, and then after multiplying it by 0.85 twice, right? That's like $400 a day <laughs> from Playmates, right? The, uh, yeah, the, and then I just become unstoppable. And then I can finally save up all the 50 grand in my bank account and then go buy my stupid house or condo or whatever in Florida and then get the hell out of this shit city, right? It'll just be better, right? Better food, more food, cheaper food. Nicer place, no stupid mandates, you know, more attractive looking women, nicer women, and not as many people, and it's much, much cheaper. Plus, I never have to deal with the stupid weather ever again, right? It'll just rain a lot. You know what? I'll take rain a lot. I don't care, right? I just don't, I just can't stand New York City anymore. I hate it here. I, I, I've always hated it here, right? But now I really need to leave, right? Especially since all the, all the, remnants of true conservative power are more or less centralizing in Florida anyway, because Texas is gone. So, so yeah. well, now I'm starting to ramble. So anyway, I'll see you in the next project. I want to keep rambling, but maybe I'll ramble in the next video. Because we had a Mexico drug cartel, like, like five, six-way shootout at the border at Laredo, Texas. He had Mexican troops on one side getting shot at by the three gang cartels, where they were also shooting at each other, and one of them was trying to retaliate for America arresting a drug cartel leader, and they were shooting at the Americans and our border patrol. So, <laughs> so it's actually a five-way gang fight. Gang fight. Ugh, God, what a mess. Oh, but we gotta defend Ukraine, right? Because there's obviously nothing wrong going here, or nothing wrong going on in America, right? So frustrating. All right, next project is Argo Finance. And I'm actually finding out these projects on what the fork XYZ, because I'm not really seeing much activity in the Elite Discord. Because uh, I guess everyone's too busy, or maybe, uh, you know, Toon Fork season is quote-unquote over. It's actually not over. Uh, it's definitely struggling, but that's because people are trying to figure out what the correct way to do things are. I already now know what the correct thing is. Do pr printer financial, right? No peg. Smart APR 2.0 system, and make sure your board, well, that's including Smart APR, so I don't have to mention the boardroom, and, you know, to be honest, I would actually make it so that there's a tax as well, so every time you dump tracks in vinyl, you have to pay a tax, because ink shares, which are the shares for printer financial, actually have a 5% tax, so, and then there you go. Right, it's not big enough, obviously, but it's a good start. It's also probably the only tune fork that I'm aware of that has a tax system of any kind in place. So I'm still pretty confident about tune forks, right? Eventually, one really good one will come along, right? And I'm pretty happy with Poseidon Black simply because I actually want to increase, I basically want to get a bunch of free Poseidon tokens for free. And now I realize if I want to, uh, before I go for my walk after I'm done with these videos, I should actually just exercise, just get out of the way. So I think that'll be the way to go. All right, that'll be the way to go. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It should be Argo Finance, right? Argo Finance. That's on the Metis blockchain. That's like a brand new blockchain. So that'll be kind of interesting to check out. All right, see you in a bit. Thanks. Well, like, subscribe, share, grow the channel, blah, 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 blah. Well, because uh, I think you know, all the new people are coming in. We're actually at 1,100 subscribers. I can see that in real time on my back end. Like, the public YouTube page takes a while to up uh, to update. So, yeah. We're doing really, really, really well. We're doing very, very well. I, I like this. You know, one day this channel will actually have 100K. As long as, you know, we find more and more projects to play with. And as long as what the fork, you know, continues doing what they're doing, 
Yeah, we'll never run out of, we'll, you know, I will have, you know, I will have a very powerful YouTube channel. It's going to be awesome. So, and thanks. And I'll, we all thanks to you and me and what the fork and I guess everybody actually. So it's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool.